Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to do uh, a reading here from the time you're listening to this, like the next 30 days. So if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below. You can also become a member of the channel, $2.99 per month. Check out all the cool perks that you get. And yeah, so hello everyone in the chat and everyone who is coming here for the first time and welcome back. All right, so <clears throat> I'm doing, I'm pulling some different cards to start off the reading. So let's check and see, you've got friendship. So there's a friendship that may be leading to more romantic. You've got protected, you are safe and divinely guided, and you have retreat. Time alone in nature will help you recharge as well as mastery. You've learned a spiritual lesson. Wow, Virgo, seems like you've gone through something that you needed to go through so you could learn some kind of lesson. Um, you are protected for sure, and you may have a friend showing up or you have a friendship with someone where there's this relationship. It, I kind of like it because it feels like there's um, a foundation that's already been built or created. Now, you may know that there's a friend that you have who's interested in you or you may not. Okay, so we're going to check and see if you've come through something difficult um, in your past. You're, you, you know, you're coming to learn during this next 30 days that you've learned something huge about some type of past relationship. You are probably retreated or are retreating currently. So you can really understand what you needed to learn from a past connection or relationship. And also that as you go through this process, you are, again, safe and divinely guided. So... Um, there is someone showing up here in your life whom this could turn into something more spiritual or romantic type of relationship. But let's take a look and see. I know everybody's like looking around like, okay, who are my friends? Like, who's this person? <laughs> now, maybe you have no idea and they may haven't, maybe they haven't really showed up yet in the way that you're trying to figure out. Okay. So let's take a look and see. Well, you have the King of Swords. Okay. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Looks like that's who the friend is. Now that could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So this person, I will tell you, the King of Swords is very um, exact. Um, that blue gives me a sense of purity or a sense of like, it can be very calming, like they might have a uh, personality where there's someone who is just very calm, cool, serene, collected. Um, this is someone who I feel like is quite strategic and like totally honest, like they are completely honest with you. They tell you the truth. Um, they don't, they don't uh, sugarcoat things. They're quite um, like straight to the point. There's no, it, it feels like crystal clear. Like that blue feels like crystal clear, uh, you know, fluid, like water. So it, they could be a water sign now that I say water, but it's, this person is just, they're quite detached and they may come across to you as someone who doesn't have an emotional investment in something, but they're very, I just feel like a sense of honesty. Now, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, I have an air sign, but they're not like that. They might, that person that you might be thinking about, a, a pre, maybe a previous air sign or an air sign you're connecting with. So this card is in the upright. Okay. If the King of Swords was in the reverse, that would be a completely different story. Then they would be a total manipulator, you know, uh, or uh, a thought a thought thief, that kind of thing. But this person shows to me as they are just very direct and very clear and they are honest with you, telling you the truth. Okay. And I get a sense that this person works really hard. Like they're very consistent is how I feel. Okay. 
um, maybe you work with them. It could be like um, a friend, colleague kind of thing. But they're very consistent and I feel like I get a sense that they're a little protective of you as well. And I also get a sense that this person works really hard to have like integrity to show, oh my gosh, you've got the lovers for some Gemini. But this person is, I feel like they, they, you'll notice effort that they put in on the daily to be there for you. But there's more to it with this person. There is like, I feel like either this person's in love with you or they recognize the, um, what do I want to say? Like the, the bond, they see something here. Maybe you don't see it, Virgo, you might not. But there is definitely, like, I do feel like this person, either they think you're a soulmate or there's, there's, there is this connection. This person is, everything that they're doing or that you may see later throughout this these next 30 days that they're doing is to prove to you that you can trust them. It doesn't feel negative. Now, you know, if the devil shows up, you know, then we're going to have to take a look at that. But let's take a look and see what else shows up here for the lovers. Okay. I mean, this person, <laughs> the eight of cups, I mean, they're on a journey definitely for love. I don't feel like this person is intentionally trying to hurt or any, or, or they, like they couldn't because you've got the protected energy here. You're divinely protected. You're safe. But I also see you retreating during these next 30 days. So you can try to understand some things, maybe even about this person, if you know who they are, or just the connection in general, trying to understand your past, where you're headed, retreating, spending time on your own. Some of you might hike with this person. You've had some heartbreak, Virgo. You have. You've had some losses. You might be licking your wounds right now or just going through a grief period and you're trying to journey through this. You do have this friend here who does have good intentions for you, but they're also, they have romantic feelings for you as well. But I don't see this person trying to cross a line just yet because I think that they know or will come to realize that you are really just trying to move yourself forward or move on. Maybe you had an abandonment issue or you lost someone whatever the case might be, I feel like they know that you're trying to move forward and I, I don't see them trying to really pursue you in the sense where you would feel uncomfortable, but I will tell you, <laughs> the op when the opportunity arises or when you feel like you are, you've been able to move past and you might even move, finally move past it this, at this in these next 30 days, things are going to be changing pretty quickly. Once I feel like for some of you, you know, learning this spiritual lesson is really just about um, maybe you were in a relationship in the past that you maybe decided that you weren't going to wait for the signs from spirit, that you were just going to take it upon yourself to go forward with a past relationship that maybe wasn't good for you. For some of you, that's just an example. That might be your story. But I feel like maybe you moved too quickly in a past relationship or fell for some kind of okie doke from someone in your past. Now, this when I say your past, I, this could have been a relationship that lasted a long time or it could have just been like maybe six months or somewhere in there. In there. But something definitely ended. Even with the Ten of Swords, it looks like perhaps you just got to this place where, or you get to this place where you surrender. And it could very well be that you were just like, you've hit rock bottom on a, uh, another relationship or just in your life, like you're surrendering. And once you surrender, it feels like things start to pick up. Now, is this person going to approach you? Are they going to pursue you? They, I feel like the King of Swords is very 
intentional. The King of Swords showing here, masculine or feminine, is is they're paying attention and they're they're not going to because they don't want to be rejected. Okay. Um, so, but their true intentions, obviously, is to be by your side, to be a partner, but also in friendship, you know, but they do want more. There is an energy of this person does want more, but I feel like you're kind of like not ready fully, or you're coming to the end of that. You might not even be considering whomever this person is that you have a friendship with. Maybe you did consider for some of you, but you, I don't know. I'm just picking up this sense. You haven't completely surrendered either to the past, uh, the lesson that you needed to learn, or you have, and you're not ready to surrender to this person. Okay. So got the star that's Aquarius energy. So there is this still needing to heal renewal of spirit and renewal of self self for sure. But I feel like this King of Swords, they're not going to get themselves let down because it feels like the most important thing to them at this point is to be your friend through something. Okay? To be your friend through something. Okay? Um, through your heartbreak, through your grief, through your struggle. To be that supportive person in your life. They want to help renew your spirit. Um, this person brings inner clarity. I mean, I don't know if you know who this is. You might, you might you go to them and you might talk to them about things. They give you, they give you truth. They instill your faith. They, they maybe keep telling you have faith. Don't worry. It'll be okay. Things will work out. That kind of energy. Yep. Think positive. So I feel like this King of Swords generally has a positive attitude. Um, that's kind of their disposition. They don't really get like in a melancholy state. You know, if they have their heartbreak, um, they're they're a bit sanguine. If they have their heartbreak, they they have it just like everybody else. But it does things like this. It doesn't tr like major heartbreaks don't devastate them. They have an easier time to let go and maintain a positive mindset about moving forward. Now, you know. I don't know if you're that Virgo where you are just in like complete devastation or loss or grief. You might not be. You might have felt that at one point, but this person's a little bit different. They just have a sunny disposition. Okay, very sunny disposition. Okay, there's a King of Cups. Okay, so let's see. So the King of Cups, of course, Shows up as someone who's a very supportive, tolerant, empathetic, compassion, nurturing, healing type of a person. Oh, okay. So now we've got two people showing up here. Oh, so there's a King of Cups that's like <laughs> very physically encumbered <laughs> when it comes to you. There's a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces who is lusting after you. Hmm. King Cups wants to be with you, marry you, have a reunion with you, long-term commitment, 11-11. Gosh, Virgo, so now the story has changed a little bit. This is kind of like they're giving me this, um, he loves her, but she loves him, or she loves him, but he loves her kind of scenario so one is maybe you have some confusion or you will have some confusion going forward there you go decision looks like there's a, there looks like or you might have this lusty energy for a king of cups and find out that there's someone who's supporting you through something that's in love with you with the lovers. I mean, the lovers is much better than the Knight of Wands and the four, uh, four of Wands. The lovers is the real deal. So it looks like you, Virgo, <laughs> you've got either, like, you need to make a decision here. You're trying to trust your intuition or your gut. 
perhaps in this story here between two people do do you do you want to have a a lover scenario with someone deep love two people who are together in a partnership happily ever after your perfect match or the one that is crazy about you has this passionate physical attraction and, and wants to be with you like what are you because this one comes in real fast and the king this king of cups comes in real fast and the king of swords is kind of like just trying to help you through stuff they both want you they both want to be with you oh my goodness virgo i can't tell you what to do i can't tell you who you should choose let's take a look at you a little bit more here Some of you might come to realize also that there's a king of cups that only tries to get with you um, or swings back around or tries to re-enter your life for the passion. Maybe that's part of the spiritual lesson you need to learn to kind of step back and ask yourself what is really important to you. Be fair with yourself. Do you want... Um, a fling kind of thing with someone or do you want someone who's going to be in your life long term yeah so i feel like you might be trying to do the right thing right now looking at the what's the win-win solution for you gaining clarity what's the truth cause and effect showing up here balancing things out because justice and the two of swords are cards about balance what are you going to compromise? Are you going to compromise anything? Or do you need to make a decision and choose a path? Hmm. Well, you'll definitely be having an awakening. And that might have something to do, for sure, with this mastery card. What is the spiritual lesson in all of this? Virgo, it looks like you're retreating at this time. So you can sort of figure out or ask for guidance from up above of what you need to do do you go for the one who loves you or do you go for the one you love okay um, definitely a final decision with judgment here wake up call what is your purpose in life yeah that's really what i feel like is happening here and it's amazing how this has taken a turn truly this is a lifestyle change right here in the knight of swords what do you want virgo that's kind of like asking yourself what do you want do you want the passion or do you want the stability because the passion is going to always be much like a wildfire eventually it burns out wildfires can't burn forever eventually they hit the ocean <laughs> do you know what i mean so the passion is not sustainable long term the long-term relationship may not have as much passion and that might be something that needs to be kind of lit do you know what i mean in a long-term relationship with someone but with that you get the stability you get the protection you get <laughs> it sounds like a mafia thing you're paying for here you know um it feels like like it feels like the the passion energy is tempting and it's exciting and it's wild and, and crazy and, it, and it, it's like a it's very much feel good but it's much like you know the first feeling when you take a drink right so it's like overwhelming and it feels great but then you know the next day you get the hangover and you feel sick right whereas the long term is more stable and although there are no ups and downs it's pretty straightforward it might feel boring for you so where are you right where are you you might be asking yourself well why can't i just have both well look nobody's telling you how to live your life virgo some of you might like that long-term stable you're sick of the ups and downs and the you know the passion is great but it doesn't last so you're being called in the next 30 days to pretty much ask yourself like what is going to work for you what do you want? Where are you in your life? Really taking a look and kind of like reanalyzing your situation, taking stock, passing judgment for sure. 
and that's even with justice you know like a like a like a judge sits at the t at the sits there at the top and looks at all the evidence and looks at everything and makes the determination what is going to be the best outcome for you and you're being your own judge and jury and so it looks like you're really retreating and trying to figure out that some of you might just decide no to both and just to free yourself to be on your own for however long you deem necessary not to entangle in any relationships that might be your situation as well but you're definitely in this position here of needing to you're being asked to make a decision now you don't have to make it in these next 30 days i just feel like the next 30 days is going to be the energy that comes up for you what should i do right that's the question i feel like you'll be asking yourself what should you do what which path is going to work for work for you let's get some cosmic insights and see what is a message here another message for virgo oh yeah you've got challenges make a decision or work on inner healing <laughs> there you go so yeah I always feel like if you're going to make a decision, don't like make sure you make the decision so that you can stick with it, right? Don't make a decision and then flip flop back on your decision. Choose a lane, figure out where you want to be, make a decision. Some of you, it's just making the decision. You know what? I, I'm not dealing with any, either one of these people. I'm going to keep working on my inner healing because I've got some lessons that I need to learn here. But you definitely have some challenges here. You're being asked to make changes in your life. Okay, you have the intimacy card. Sexual chemistry, reminiscing. There's a water sign. So that king of cups, that could be showing up here. You might have great sexual chemistry. That might be part of your like trying to figure stuff out with a water sign. And so that's only part of the story, right? Maybe you're, that might be something you're considering. Whereas someone else, you might feel like, I'm never going to have that kind of chemistry with anybody else again. Well, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> Sometimes that sexual chemistry is a, a major red flag. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So I feel like this is a lot of um, thought work that you're doing. Not thought, thought, thought work. Okay. Yeah, you're you're seeking answers with spy. You're doing your research. So good. I feel like that's pretty much a typical Virgo type of um, energy. Virgos like to Virgos don't generally just fly off the handle. Virgos are very conscientious when they're making decisions about things. They can you know tend to be very analytical tend to think through things, um, I tend to be very picky. Okay, so your situation could evolve a year of the goat. Could involve a year of the rabbit, a year of the snake, a year of the monkey, a year of the pig, a year of the rooster. Oh, another rooster, another goat. Year of the ox, another ox, another rabbit, and a horse. All right. So if that resonates for you, great. If not, just leave it. I feel like you know, it's up to you. That's what I feel like the message is here. I don't really feel like it's up to somebody else. It's really asking yourself what is going to work long term if you're looking for long term some of you might decide that you don't want that friend and you just want to keep that sexual chemistry and keep that going with someone you know um, some of you might decide you don't want to do that chemistry thing anymore with someone the passion the ups and downs highs and lows you might be tired and you just want to find someone stable right but you got to go within and do that retreat and try to figure out what's going to work for you because if you only have one person in your life at this time that you need to think about um, the decision might just be whether to move forward with them or not um, 
for others, there could be somebody else showing up. So you could have one of these court kings, masculine or feminine, showing up, and then a second showing up. Okay? Or they could be a part of your past. You know your story better than I do. All right, August 30th. Someone is 36. Someone's name is Gavin. For sure. September 14th. Okay, someone is 58, someone's born in 69 or is 69 or is born in 58, someone is 36, 35 to 36 perhaps, September 21st, they just said someone's eating an orange or loves oranges, August 31st, we have age 47, someone's born in April, April 9th specifically, uh, September 9th, September 5th, someone is 59, September, oh no, I'm sorry, 1981, 1988, okay, someone shoots guns or has like guns, does something with guns, uh, someone's name is Ray or Raymond, um, Let's see. All right. For some of you, this has something to do with an X, this decision. Let's see what sign shows up here for you. Okay. Another Virgo. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Scorpio again. All right. Someone is 54. Someone's name, uh, there's an initial I. Someone is 45. And, okay. Someone's really mad, like crazy mad for you. <laughs> crazy, crazy mad for you. I feel like it's the King of Swords. Um, you have the letter D. I just heard Derek and Diane. Uh, Amy, Mary, 1975, someone's born in December, so it is a December birthday, and September 3rd, significant for September 3rd, okay, let's get some Chinese messages here for you, whoa, what is this, oh, intuition, Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change career, or invest in money. So your intuition, definitely, the two of swords, that is your intuition. That is you needing to trust your intuition. What messages are you hearing? If something feels off, trust that. Even if you can't pinpoint what that off feeling is trust it you don't need to pinpoint it because anything that's good and right for you will never feel off okay difficult times i feel like you got that yesterday virgo be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold yeah so there is you need to like you had red flags you need to trust your intuition at this time if you're going to make a decision or you need to make a decision seriously take the time out you need to make to trust your gut on this and don't go back once you make the decision do what's best for you oh my goodness this fell commitment a commitment is indicated around love or business it will make you feel better so this is uh, definitely has something to do with your situation here like i was saying some of you are just trying to decide if you know if you want to be on your own or if you want to commit to something like i said trust your gut before you make a commitment not even to a person but even just a commitment to yourself whatever you decide seek clarity before you make that decision not so much from like it's okay to i think here 
advice from other people, but you know your situation best and you have to look at everything in context and figure out if certain things apply to you because not everything is going to apply to you. Communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships and also a lucky win seems likely. So, wow, Virgo. <laughs> There's a love reunion and there is a possible friendship love situation scenario happening here. I mean, Virgo, seriously. I know some of you are like, nothing's happening in my life. I'm by myself. Okay, well, you know what? This, ha this like I said, it's the next 30 days. So this might show up later for you, right? And for others, if it like doesn't, like I'm serious, it's not your reading. Not every reading is gonna be for you, okay? So keep that in mind. Some of you need to go no contact or at least not initiate contact with anyone so you can get some, get your sea legs to figure out what you're doing about a, a relationship here or your love life or what you want to do, but you do have new love beginnings coming in. Okay. There's a highly logical male who's going to show up. Now that for me is the king of swords. Endure and be patient. Yeah, so even if you have a friend who's in your life and let's say they're like not an air sign, it doesn't mean it's not that person, okay? Your faith and boundaries will be tested during this time or they're already happening. Okay. There's a sweet text message coming in for you in these next 30, I almost said 30 minutes. So for some of you, it's going to be in the next 30 minutes. I was going to say in the next 30 days, but next 30 minutes, a sweet text message. And that might prompt something here. Okay. For you, it's going to initiate, it's going to trigger some, this reading this situation okay so if you get a text message within 30 minutes of listening to this leave a comment down below and let me know if that's happened for you if you didn't that's fine it doesn't mean it's not your reading all right you guys i'm gonna leave that there if you want to get a personal reading like i said go ahead and click the link in the description box below um you can do a text message reading or you can do um a phone call reading whichever fits you the best and uh, let me see thank you to everyone who has been signing up to be a member of uh, the channel I don't think there's been anybody new which is fine thank you anyway and um yeah gonna leave that there I hope you guys have a great evening and day and I will see you all back here tomorrow all right take care Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.